hi everyone welcome back to another video in this video i will demonstrate an example of power automate i have a list and in the backend i have few jobs work day data and news notification the jobs are retrieving data using uh, api and we are storing uh, the data in our sharepoint jobs are based on the console application and deployed on the azure that runs on specific time in addition to that uh, there is a requirement to create a power automate based flow that should run every day in order to share the status of the job last run so i want to create a flow for that so let's start it this is my list where i would like to update the last run status and if email sent is false then power automate should trigger an email to the specified users in email sent to and should update the status as true when azure based job runs it also updates the email sent status to false so our power automate first should look at the status if it is false then should trigger an email to the users with the last run date and the title of the job so let's create a flow for this first navigate to power automate make dot power automate dot com then i would like to create a new flow for this functionality click on create this is going to be a scheduled cloud flow that should run every day in morning and should share the status of the web jobs provide a name starting we are going to start it from today and 10 am i would like to trigger an email repeat every one and select the day this flow will run every day so this this is what we exactly want as per the business requirement you may customize it like uh, you may uh, trigger an email every week maybe month or other configuration you may customize as per the need click on create search for get item and let me quickly include the id column here so these are the ids associated with my web job same ids i am going to utilize in my power automate based flow currently we are creating this flow specific to world work day job as per the business need you may customize it or you may create a separate flows for both the web jobs or you may you know include email notification action within the same power automate flow but for this uh, in this example we are going to create a workflow for work day data only for now if you need me to create for multiple items within the same list please comment below i will create a separate video for it so provide the site details it is asking for the id if i navigate back to my list then the id is 1 for our item just provide the id and now search for the condition action in condition search for email sent if it is equal to false then just an fyi all columns are single text single line of text 
you may customize as per the need email sent to is of type people and group now if the email sent is equal to false that means we would like to trigger an email to the users so search for email send send email using shared mailbox i have created a few shared mailbox that i use uh, to you know trigger emails automated emails into click on add dynamic content our column name is email sent to as you can see here we might have multiple users so first we need to handle that create one variable when the condition is true first we need to retrieve the mail ids search for set variable and select your variable name where emails and in the where emails it should append current item in the two part select where emails variable that we have just created and provide the other configuration like subject and the body for an example let's say i am using this uh, write up you may customize it as per your need this should trigger an email to the users next step is to update the status of the last run column search for update navigate to sharepoint search for update update item provide the site address select the list name id we would like to update the workday job what we would like to update we would like to update the last run so click on the last run field uh, input field and navigate to expression and it should update today's date so utc so utc now will provide you the today's date now our flow looks good and it should uh, execute as per the expectation let me quickly test it our flow ran successfully now let me quickly navigate back to the list 
okay why the date what false yes that is correct it should condition should be true okay there uh, we need to provide string in double quotes instead of single quote that was the reason it uh, our condition failed now let me fix another issue that we are getting in sent email may be related to some variable configuration search here for email email sent to email okay this is what exactly we need as this is a type of people and group column as a value we are getting claims display name emails picture everything so what we need we need just the email address of the users now we are good and we can test it quickly okay our flow ran successfully and this configuration sent email to mike only but it should send email to rinko and mike instead of using set variable search for append append to string variable select your variable name and select the email sent to email include semicolon it should append this now we are good let me quickly test it one more thing uh, flow last run flow updated the updated this column but we also want to update the email sent status as well so let let me quickly do it from here our flow ran successfully let me quickly check the email so first user is rinko and the second user is mike that is correct this is what we wanted right and let me quickly verify the fields in the list our last run has been updated successfully similarly email sent has also updated successfully so this is how you can create a flow this this is just an example uh, you may customize it as per the need please comment below if you need a video on how we can send email to all the list items in the list by the help of single workflow thank you for watching if you enjoy the video and want to stay up to date related to power apps power automate sharepoint and rpa be sure to hit that subscribe button your support really helps me out see you in the next video